Hey, what's up guys? I forgot to record the beginning of this video, but I have a 400 that came in, a uh, third generation that came in for um, some Bilstein shocks, coilovers, and BTF upper arms with the unit ball conversion. Uh, he's also going to be getting the uh, 33L cam eliminator kit, as well as some coil springs for the rear and shocks for the rear and some other good stuff. So. Here it is on the driver's side, done. BTF upper control arms, stock wing with the Unipaw conversion. Belsting coilovers. This side's pretty much done. It looks good. And to get to the upper arm to remove it, you have to remove your battery, remove your coolant. Um, Your coolant tank, my bad. Battery tray, remove your battery to get the upper arm bolt up, up and through, just to remove that. And then you can put it back as soon as you're done. And this is the passenger side, completely untouched. I was weird habit of completing one side before I move on to the other side. I don't know why, but. So I'm gonna get this all uh, tied up and finished. Then after I'm gonna move on to the cam eliminator kits. Once the suspension's all connected, so that way it's holding on, and the cam bolts will just sort of stay in place and just come on out it's nice and smooth. For the rear side, you are gonna have to remove your steering rack bushings, or yeah, your steering rack. Uh, get them off the mounts and move the steering rack so you can get this lower cam out because it does come out this way for the rear is going to be getting coil springs and the shocks I haven't started on that but once i do i'll show you guys videos of that and it's also also going to be getting some uh i believe it's a catback boiler exhaust so i'll show you guys that when it's time there's my truck and here's the mess of everything you are going to need a ball joint press to press out the factory ball joint and i'll show you guys all on the other side so this is just me doing this side so i can get it done quick and i guess i'll show you guys the other side and i'll probably be tomorrow morning because it's already about eight o'clock so I try to stay out as late as I can. But uh, yeah, this is the side and I'll show you guys tomorrow when I install these parts. All right guys, this is the next morning here and I'm getting ready to disassemble the passenger side. So I got the three 14 millimeter bolt up off top, the 19 millimeter castle nut for the ball joint, all your 10 millimeter lines uh, bolt for, for the brake lines and 19 millimeter for the lower strip mount and i just loosened the sway bar just to get enough droop downward and there's one 12 millimeter holding this line back here and now what i'll be doing next is hammering well you can use a specialty tool to press out this out but i'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way and hammer it right here or here so let me get that going uh so what i did was i swapped out the old the old shot in the old spring and we swapped it in with some new bustings on here and some what are these old oh, man, man Kimu springs and then now i'm getting ready to bolt everything back on and then clean clean up this area for the uh what goes on here what gets welded the track bar relocation the track bar relocation one right here and one over there but I'm gonna do one side first, weld it, bolt it, and then do the other side. Yeah, but I'm pretty much done. Oh, and then I still have to do the front. So I have this side on, and I have this side on, just need to press in the 
the uniball adapter. And this side will be good. And I'm currently adjusting the coilovers on that to come up while Papa finishes up this. I'll finish up the adjustment on this Tacoma. Just raising it up a little bit. I did this one. You guys saw it on my video, so get that going. We also have boiler exhaust here system for the foreigner. I have no idea what's going on in there. Just ignore that. So we have Medi, what you doing right now? He's in the process of removing the exhaust right now. I have WD-40 if you need it. Yeah. It should be in my toolbox right there. Like brand new, right there. This is Maddie B. He knows how to swap motors, so. While he's doing that. Oh, also I just finished up the Tacoma with the all of our adjustments so while well, he's doing that and i'm back at this just pressed in this new uniball adapter it presses in you press out the old ball joint which is this press out the old ball joint you need a ball joint press some snapping pliers and this is a new uniball adapter comes with the snap ring and it goes in there so show you guys that there's Medi B Terra crew repping so it should go like that and I'm just gonna adjust this just a bit <clears throat> we got 80% of it on now we have to measure from here to here and I got about 13 inches so we're gonna go cut that off off of this piece that comes with the kit so I'm gonna measure about 13 inches from there and mark the line and cut So we've got the boiler exhaust bolted on, just tightening it now. We got Maddie over there grinding for the pan art correction kit. You can see here. Test fitting it, grinding it. It's Maddie B, 15 year old. Who knows what he knows his stuff. So yeah, here's a boiler exhaust. And then next I gotta do the liming can so I got the steering rack out. The bushings are pretty shot so I already advised the customer. I'd recommend the Total Chaos polyurethane bushing and I'll get that next after I finish doing this. So I'll show you guys that when I'm getting to that. I'll show you guys a clip of the exhaust too when it's done. We got Steezy Papash's 2001 BMW 740i. He's gonna be selling it. So if you guys are interested, hit me up. I'll let him know. 2001 V8. He's cleaning up the interior right now. No, I'm at this door. What are you doing, Papash? So. I let them know that this is going to be for sale. Yes. What are you in the process of trying to get? Uh, another Ranger. A Ranger or a Forerunner. Do you want to let them know how much this is? The Beamer? Yeah. Oh, well, well, I have it up for four, but I'm willing to work on it. Or just give me a Ranger. So, 4000 or better offer for trade or Ranger. Or Toyota. <clears throat> so yeah, pretty clean.
There are some missing pieces to it, but he has them. Oh, here we're work, still working on the foreigner. Got the exhaust up. Got Papa actually here, tacking in the pan art correction kit. I'm doing it with this little guy. It does wonders. He made that bumper. The exhaust done on this bad boy as well. It sounds good. I'll include a clip with that. So we got that done. Just tacking it in place. So now I am doing the cam eliminator kits from I don't even know how to say it. Triple three three fabrications. Triple three fab. 333 fabrications ammo eliminator kits so these are the new cams and your factory cams are these round ones sorry you remember this one it's a 22 millimeter so these are your factory cams compared to these ones so these would like lock in place and set your alignment rather than having one that spins and like when you are off-roading or like using your rig for pretty harsh conditions it might like go out of place and your alignment will go out of whack sort of like my tundra before which is why my tires are really bald and then i got my dressing kit alignment cam i highly recommend them and i'll install those and i'll show you guys how they go so yeah let's get it grab the bolt that it comes with the washer and the cam and you're gonna put it in the same way that factory came out. So the factory came out this way, so you're gonna put in the new one in this way. And I'm just gonna leave it at the like middle setting. That way um, alignment can figure it out. I don't wanna like throw it out completely, so I'll just leave it at the middle setting. And for the rear, same thing. Grab your washer, your nut, and your alignment cam. You come over to the rear, put your Alignment cam. Washer. In your nut. And then you just tighten them. I believe these might be different size, might be 24. I'll double check right now, but yeah. Let me figure that out and I'll show you guys. You guys finished the whole box already? Just one, just one. Yeah, you see the motion to it? Too? It actually looks good. Like, this one looks better. Because I got the little motion to the little circle. You want me to get you the... And then we got the alignment cams up, up in the front. Looking good there. Finishing up. Not bad for a Weld. flux core welder. Got the welder, master welder right here. Papash, and we got Maddie, the demolitions expert. <laughs> Crispy, and we got the other side. Dude, that shit looks good. The exhaust. You know, today, Loki, get an Air Ranger, we could weld the whole kit on. If anybody has an Air Ranger, Papa should buy or trade you for the BMW. Cash on top if it's good. And Maddie wants a foreigner like yeah. this one, third generation. If you guys will donate to him. Or he'll get on his he knees. needs help. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we just finished up the foreigner with Bilstein 5100s and BTF upper control arms in the front with the Yinabaw and the cam eliminator kits for alignment cams.
and for the rear we also got the Bilsteins with old man emu springs and we also did the track bar relocation kit and we also did a boiler exhaust cat back exhaust for this foreigner There are the Bilsteins, and there's a cam eliminator kits right there. So we did that. Um, I recommended the Total Chaos Polyurethane Searing Rack Machines because these are kind of shot. I'm running those on my truck, and I recommend them. So we went ahead and marked the bolts. Make sure nothing comes out of a uh, place. BTF upper arms. Yeah. Truck looks good and it sounds good. So the front is a little bit taller. Front is a little bit taller than the rear. Not that noticeable, plus I kind of like that look. And you can easily fit a 35 inch tire. Easily. With all that clearance, and it looks good. Can't go wrong with the Uniball upper control arm, especially BTF, really good brand. I'd highly recommend them for mid travel kits and long travel kits and this is a pretty nice setup let me go ahead and show you guys how the exhaust sounds as well real quick